Do you want to raise or farm mosquito larvae for your tropical fish? If yes, then this video is for you. If you follow the steps, 100% guarantee that you will have a successful culture and will harvest thousands or even millions of mosquito larvae every day. What's up guys, by the way, this is Mark and once again, you are in Heavy TV. So today guys, this video is a shorter version with the complete details from a previous video because a lot of hobbyists commented that they did not understand our previous video due to loud music and the video is too long. <laughs> So sorry guys, my bad, because when I uploaded that video, that time was my first time uploading videos on YouTube. And don't have any idea yet how to balance the music and how to edit the videos in Vegas. Really nigga. I understand. <laughs> but before we proceed, please subscribe to our second channel, Habit TV Plus, as a backup from our main channel. We'll be uploading there our past videos and other pets topics about amazing cute cats, dogs, and other pets to enjoy more of a hobby. And whatever happens on our main channel, you know already where to find me. <laughs> And if you have any questions and clarifications for our past and present videos, just send us a message on our page at habitcv.ph or click the link below description. So now let's go to our video. Many aquarists feed the fish mosquito larvae to help them improve their fish color and breeding and to maintain their fish good health. Mosquito larvae are one of the cheapest and easiest live food so far. Today I'm going to teach you everything you need about raising millions of mosquito larvae every day as a source of high protein and as a nutritious food to your tropical fish. Steps on how to raise mosquito larvae. Materials needed. Plastic container, old buckets, pail, barrel or drum, even old aquarium or fish tank will do. A small plastic container for transferring egg wraps. Unchlorinated water or dechlorinated water. Yeast. Warm water for dissolving yeast. Plastic bottle for mixing. Step 1. Choose a location. First thing first, you need to choose a location outside or at your backyard to raise your mosquito larvae. When it comes to their preferred environment, mosquito larvae thrive in the shade of water sources. You need to place your container away from direct sunlight, otherwise the water may become too warm. I recommend placing your container under an overhang or dense tree grow to keep it shaded from the sun. It doesn't matter if sunlight reaches your container sometimes, just try to position so that it doesn't receive too much direct sunlight throughout the day. So choose a spot that is away from your doors and windows otherwise you're basically inviting mosquitoes into your home. And of course you don't want that. <laughs> Step 2. Add the water into the culture tank. Next, it's time to fill your container with water. Just like your fish, mosquito larvae are not fans of chlorinated water. Chlorine prevents algae and bacterial growth on other organisms as the source of mosquito larvae's food. So you need to use the chlorinated water. Leave debris that falls into the water. It will add to the bacterial growth. You can purchase the chlorinator kits on online shops or in your local pet shops. Step 3. Mixing Put the yeast into the plastic bottle. Notes: This mixing method is the same just like our previous video on how to culture dapia. And add the water water into the plastic bottle with the yeast. Shake the bottle until the yeast is dissolved. Step 4. Add the mixture into the culture tank. After the yeast is dissolved, pour the mixture into the culture tank and do this every day. The mixture will make the water cloudy enough for the adult mosquitoes to get attracted and to lay their eggs. Good news because there is no over or under feeding and the mosquitoes are not sensitive compared to dapia, so it's not hard to raise them. The more the food, the healthier they become. And after 3 days, you will start to notice the mosquito egg rafts on the surface of the culture tank. Mosquito eggs will look like tiny rafts like this. Step 5. Transfer the mosquito egg raft. Visit your culture tank every morning and check for the mosquito egg rafts and transfer it into a small plastic container by picking them up using a stick and to make them hatch in a cleaner tank and to prevent them from hatching into the main culture tank. This will make other female mosquitoes to still get attracted and will lay their eggs. This will make you harvest every day. 
and every egg graft hatches 100 to 300 larvae every day. So if you have this many egg grafts, you can harvest thousands of, or even millions of mosquito larvae every day. Step 6. Check the transferred mosquito egg graft. After 48 hours, the mosquito egg graft will start to hatch and you'll start to notice small wriggling creatures in your water container and to make sure to feed the baby mosquito larvae with fish food or yes, make sure like what we use. A mosquito larvae eats constantly since it needs a lot of energy to grow. In this time, you can choose whether you feed the one day old mosquito larvae for your fish fry or you can wait for another day for them to grow and feed them to bigger fish. Step 7. Catching Mosquito Larvae Mosquito larvae are small especially the newly hatched. So small. In fact, they will slip through the holes in most aquarium nets. The easiest way to catch them is to use a net designed for dapia or baby brine, or baby brine shrimp. Despite living underwater, mosquito larvae breathe air and to get it, they need to come up to the surface. It is likely that the mosquito larvae will wriggle away when you stand over the top of the container. So don't worry, sooner or later they will come back to the surface to breathe and that's your chance to scoop them up. <laughs> Step 8. Producing a continuous supply. After a few weeks of feeding your fish mosquito larvae, you will notice the improvements of their body and even color and will make other fish conditioned by pro producing many eggs for egg bear fish and other kinds of tropical fish. Due to this, you need to continue supply by sprinkling the yes mix shot to your culture tank every day. And when you notice that your culture tank is starting to smell bad, just let that way. But if you found out that the culture tank is not producing egg wraps anymore, that's the time for you to make another culture tank or second container and just repeat the process for your continuous supply. Bonus step. In colder climates like countries that has winter season, you can freeze the mosquito larvae by washing them clean and put them into ice cube trays to sustain longer periods. Or you can put the frozen larvae into Ziploc plastic bag for future feeding. In conclusion, let's face the fact that mosquitoes are wing nuisance and pests for some of us. But farming mosquitoes is a great way to make the most of their existence and is a great method to use an ongoing supply of fresh fish food. And to avoid cultivating a swarm of mosquitoes in your yard, just make sure to scoop all your mosquito larvae before they turn into adult ones. So now let's try to feed a fish with a small amount of mosquito larvae. Thank you so much guys for watching the video. Hopefully you learned something about it and use it as your guide when keeping your fish healthy by feeding them live foods just like mosquito larvae. And of course if you like the video, please smash that like button and subscribe to our channel to get updated on the next video. And if you have any questions and clarifications, just send us a message to the page at happytv.ph or click the link below the description. Please be safe everyone to get be the glory. Bye-bye.